Barney and Bogo are out on a shopping spree. Let's see how they deal with homophones that come their way. Are you enjoying yourself, Barney? Oh yes. It's a good change after that forest where we live. <laughs> I agree. We don't find such good gloves in the forest. I think I'm going to buy a pair. Huh? A pair? Why would you buy a fruit when you want gloves, Bogo? Oh, uh -huh, Barney. I think you confused the words. I am planning to buy a pair of gloves, not a pair. Oh, now I get it. Hey, Bogo, do you want to get some ice cream? Why not? Let's make the most of this trip. Can you get me a cola, please? Okay, I will be back soon. Look at the grumpy sun and not the sun that's there in the sky. Oh, that's what you meant. The word sounds just the same. Not my fault, Bogo. Anyway, let's go and see some more interesting things. Bogo is tricking me with words. <sighs> I should also think of something. Hey, look, there is flour in that shop. Let's go and buy it for our food. <laughs> Trying to trick me with the words, Barney? Yes, let's go and buy some flour and then we will also buy flowers to decorate our house. <laughs> you got me. Let's buy some flour and flowers for our house. Alright then, we should head home before our feet start paining. I just need to buy a plain cloth. Plain can't be right. I'm sure Bogo wants a plain cloth. Now I get what you're saying, Bogo. No more confusion. So that was Barney and Bogo's homophone spilled shopping spree. Let's see which homophones they used. Pear and pear, sun and sun, flower and flower, plain and plain. Students, now let's take a break from the class and get ready for quick fun. But before we do that, can you guess which break I used? It should be break. B R E A K. Break. That's right. We will use this sentence in the situation. Now let's move to quick fun. <laughs> 